Hello, Zebrazone here. Today, you are going to see how to sync multiple cameras and sound very easily using these tentacle sync modules. The typical use case is this. Um, say you're shooting a short film, a music performance, an event with multiple cameras. Um, the last thing you want is having to synchronize every single bit of footage by hand. Um, so in order to prevent you from going through this hassle, these modules send a highly accurate clock to all of your cameras and sound equipment, so that in your editing timeline, each footage is positioned at the exact right time it was shot, making the video editing process much easier. I've been working with these modules for quite some time now, and I have no partnership with this company, but I must say that they do provide a very relaxed shooting and editing experience. They work with any type of camera and I think they're pretty much the most simple and reliable solution on the market. Now, let me explain how this magic works. So basically, as I said earlier, each of these modules have a very, very, very accurate clock built in. So at the beginning of the shoot using the Tentacle app, you can send the current time of day to all the little modules so that they all share the same master clock. Then each of the modules sends this master clock to the camera to which it is attached. It can be sent either through the time code reference input connector of the camera or through its microphone input. The camera will then match its own internal clock to the clock of the module and in that way all the cameras share the same master clock. The clock information is then embedded in each video file as a piece of information that we call time code. Each video file has its own timecode, which indicates very, very precisely at what time the video has been shot. Once the modules are locked together, the Tentacle Sync system guarantees a drift of less than one frame within 24 hours, which is pretty nice. Now, most consumer cameras cannot receive an external clock input, which means that they will not write a proper timecode into the video file. To get around this, the timecode information can still be recorded as sound data in the audio track of the camera through the microphone input. When you play back the video file, it will sound like this. You will need a specific computer software to unscramble and convert the sound timecode to the file timecode. Once all your videos have a proper file timecode, you can import them into your video editing software and it will automatically align all the clips with a perfect sync. On the field, it's very, very easy to use. Uh, first, make sure that all your cameras run at the same frame rate. Then you can connect your Tentacle Sync modules to your cameras, either through the timecode input like on this Ursa Mini camera, or through the microphone input like on this Pocket Camera 4K, or on the Zoom H5. Then power on all the Tentacle Sync modules. Within the app, you should see all of them starting to show up. You set your frame rate, press wireless master sync and in turn they will all start to sync. Once the clocks are synced together, make sure that on each camera the time code is correct. It should show X here. When this is done, you're pretty much ready to shoot. Um, the tentacle sync batteries can last for 35 hours, which is pretty nice. If you are using Blackmagic cameras, I do recommend that you choose a different name for each camera, as this will make it much easier for the video editing software. Okay, so now it's uh, 2.30 in the morning. Uh, let's start recording a small sequence so that you can see how this works. We have an Osa Mini over there, uh, an old pocket here, we have a broadcast here, and a pocket 4K right there. So now moving on to the end, oh. <laughs> 
Um, so now moving on to the editing, there are two options here. The first one is to do the whole sync into your video editing software directly, such as Resolve or Premiere or Final Cut. And the second one is to go through the Tentacle Sync Studio software, which will then generate an XML file that you can import into your software. So here we're going to do it into DaVinci Resolve directly. I've done a lot of multicam work on Resolve and on Premiere, and I think Resolve is getting better and better and faster. So I think they really nailed it. Um, just in case you want to do your edit on Premiere, I've put a link to a very, very good tutorial in the description if you need to. So let's get going now. So you start by importing your uh, footage um, here. You can see that on each of the clip on the top right, we have the proper time code here. So the exact time at which uh, the clip was shot, except for this camera here, the time code is wrong. And it's wrong because uh, it's actually sound time code. So the time code was recorded into the audio track uh, because there was no time code input into this camera. So when you play back the file, you can hear this. So we need to convert this uh, audio time code into real file time code information. So to do so, we're going to select all of the clips from the camera, right click, and then update time code from audio. And what this does is that it sets the proper time code here so that it matches the other clips. You also want to make sure that each camera has a separate camera ID. So um, in order to do so, we're going to go into uh, the metadata here. We're going to select um, shot and scene. And here you can scroll down and see that camera ID here is A. So when we switch to another camera, you can see that the camera names are different uh, here. And uh, when we have a camera that does not have the information written down or has uh, the wrong um, name, we can actually just change it by selecting all the clips from this camera and then pressing the correct letter and then save here. Now that we're ready to go, we're going to create a new multicam clip. In order to do so, you select all of your clips, you right click, create new multicam clip using selected clips, angle sync, uh, you're going to select time code, and we are going to detect the clips from the same camera. And here it uses the camera ID uh, that we set previously to separate the different cameras. So this is why it was very important to have a different ID for different cameras. Um, and then, so we're going to uncheck this for now, we're going to create the multicam clip. Um, and now here you can see that you have um, a multicam clip created. So we're going to see what's inside. We're going to right click, open in timeline, and ta-da, here you have everything synced together in perfect harmony with a perfect precision. Now, if you want to see the whole multicam view with all the cameras stacked together, uh, you need to put this uh, multicam clip into a bigger uh, sequence in which you will be able to do your edits uh, properly. So um, to do so, we're going to go back into the media pool here. We're going to right click onto this multicam clip and then create a new timeline using selected clips. And then we're gonna double click this new timeline that we've just created. And then from here, we're going to show the view with all the cameras. So we're gonna make this bigger and we are going to go here and activate multicam mode. So this is very important to make sure you're clicking there. And then we have all our cameras over there, which are all synced together and ready to go. So um, you can just start editing by just um, going there and just here you select whether you want to switch just the video or just the, the audio and then you just uh, start somewhere and just press play and then do your edit this way. So you just select your clips here, here, so this is a bit weird. <laughs> Um, it's, it's, yeah, this is, okay, I'm just gonna turn off the sound right now. So, uh, this is a bit strange, but yeah, it was just to show you the power of this, uh, tentacles thing stuff. And yeah, it's, it's really, uh, you can save a lot of time, uh, using this. Now, if you want to change the audio track, you can, you just go here on, um, change audio only, you right click this and then switch multicam clip angle, angle two, and it will just, uh, change the audio track. Uh, that is active. 
One thing that I find very practical once the multicam edit is done is to just go back into um, the multicam clip here and then uh, put like uh, colors for each um, track like so. So here we're gonna put uh, a color like this and this we're gonna put this type of color and this one uh, like so. And then once we've mapped a color for each track, we can go into um, the timeline here. And then what we can do is actually flatten the whole thing. So what this does is it takes the original clips and it puts them in place of this multicam clip. So you right click there, flatten the multicam clip. So when you finished your editing, you can just do this and then you'll have all of your clips and you can edit your, do your edit uh, very easily this way. If you also want to sync an external recorder, such as a Zoom H5 or Zoom H6, you can. Um, it just doesn't have a timecode input, so you have to record the timecode in a dedicated audio track, for instance, in the XY uh, input of the H5 capsule. And then you have to use the timecode tool from Tentacle Sync to set the file timecode on each audio file from the sound data. After that, you can import the files in your video editing software alongside the other video files. So as you can see, this is a very efficient way of syncing multiple cameras together. You could also sync using the real sound of the camera, but this is not as reliable because if the camera's internal microphone isn't great, this just doesn't work. Um, so I much prefer to use uh, the sound option as a backup. I hope you liked this tutorial. Uh, if you have any questions or things you'd like to see in the future, uh, let me know in the comments. I'll do my best to answer as much as possible. Thank you very, very much for watching and stay tuned for more content.